right, man. Um, Connor Ben says, uh, he says, Keith Thurman might as well retire. Jose Ramirez turned down a million dollars to fight him. He said, none of these dudes are scared to fight him. He said, basically, he did a lot if I seen a fight hype. That, you know, risks don't really match the reward. He said, none of them dudes are scared. He said, Ugas, you know, try to make a fight with Ugas. He said, none of these dudes are scared. But, you know, right now, they saying, like, uh, Chris Eubanks and Mike lost his pen and all that. So, we're going to have to remain patient and see exactly uh, what's going on from that standpoint of view. But uh, let's talk about it. Check out the boxing news. What's with playlist now? Keith Thurman ain't like brought it up. You know, he said that when it come across his desk, he probably gonna sign it or something like that. That's what he usually be saying. Just said it again about the Laura fight. He said he don't, they don't have nothing in store for him right now. He don't know when he coming back. He ain't got a list of names. But apparently, Eddie Hearn and Conor Ben saying they tried to fight him. Now we ain't never heard Keith Thurman say. That he seen a contract or he heard about the fight or he ain't heard, he ain't said nothing, but Eddie Hearn be lying. I will say that. Eddie Hearn be lying. Eddie Hearn be lying. Why are you always lying? You know, he be lying and stuff. So I mean, sometimes you don't, I mean, I ain't gonna get into something, but I ain't like her keep saying nothing. But a lot of times, uh PBC fighters be getting offered to fight, right? And and what happens is Al Hammond don't never tell him about the offers. He just turn them down or, or whatever he do, ignore them, or whatever he do. Allegedly, he don't be telling them about the offers and stuff. You know? So, um, I don't know exactly what's, you know, what that procedure is, but um, but like I said before, I mean, Keith Thurman ain't fighting no young, hungry guy that can punch. He got hurt by Barrios, and Barrios was coming off a knockout loss, and Barrios almost knocked his ass out. So, I mean, we, we can keep going on. We know Keith Thurman not taking no risks. He said he wanted, you know, he don't really want to move up to 54, but if he have to, like, he desperate right now. You didn't turn down the Errol Spence fight, right? You didn't turn down, I mean, you didn't turn down the uh, Errol, I mean, the Terrence Crawford fight won $10 million. You know, uh, Jerron Boots and his daddy, they say he said that they wanted $10 million. So, I mean, it's just to the point where you getting what you deserve, bro. That, that's the only that's the only real way to put it. You getting what you deserve. That's the only way to put it, dude. You sitting here, you know, outpricing yourself, doing all this other, you know, excess stuff and whatever the situation may be. But... You don't, you don't, you don't deserve it. You know, you don't, you don't deserve to be in the ring with Terrence Crawford, even though these dudes was willing to fight you. You know, Danny Garcia, he ain't deserve to be in that Benavidez fight. Let's be real, he ain't deserve that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And Thurman didn't take none of them fights. Now, what he say? I'm stuck like Chuck. Hey. Sound, sound like a personal problem. That's what it sound like to me. It sound like a personal problem. It sound like a real life personal problem. Now, all these people saying, you asked for $10 million, you asked for this. Oh, you, he should retire. You know, he is 100% right. Keith Thurman should retire. That's what we can say. Keith Thurman should retire. He should retire. You don't want to fight the young guys. You don't want to fight the If you don't want to fight the champions, that's all we need to really talk about. Like you don't want to you don't want to fight the champions. You don't want to fight the champions, bro. So ain't nothing even to talk about. Good, great, good money for fighting champions. So why would you fight the young killers? You don't even want to fight the champions. And when you start wanting to fight in world top level fights and top fights, and you price yourself out, you want to blame Al Heyman, so be it. Or the blame on you. Once you start, you know, turning down them type of fades, it's time to retire, bro. It is. Keep Thurman that heart ain't in it no more. And a lot of that got to do with Al Heyman. You know, not giving him the big fights early in his career. 
and paying him a lot of money for, for, for smaller fights. And then when the big fights came on, he won a lot of money. He not a name no more. He wore down. He broke down. You know, he all oh, it's over with. He don't got the hunger to fight no more. He know he can't hang. He gonna get stopped. And you know, when you don't want to fight guys like Conor Ben, you don't want to fight guys like Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz, and then you don't want to turn around and fight the top guys like Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, um, etc. Come on, you not you know re retire, retire. It, it ain't nothing else that needs to be talked about no more. Just retire. Just retire, dude. Just retire. And Connor being right. And if Al Heyman stop you from making a living and taking fights when he ain't got no fights to offer you and you want to fight, then again, you got a bigger problem. Give him all you give him all this power. All them fighters for a little discount. If he gonna take a, he, they say he take a discount of rate from anywhere to fifteen to around ten percent less to, to get hold, hold control over your career, right? In the grand scheme of things, that ten to fifteen percent discount it ain't worth not being able to do what you want to do and fight who you want to fight. Then you want a slave deal. You want a slave deal. That's what you in. You on a real life slave deal. Damn, you just gonna run it, bro. <laughs> you on a real life slave deal. Not too much, not too much else to talk about. You know? But kind of being right now, I can't really speak on like why Jose Ramirez ain't take the money. Like I can't really I can't really speak on, on, on that aspect of it. Cause I, I mean I don't know the particulars, but Jose Ramirez ain't trying to fight nobody no way. And good, he ain't get the Conor Ben fight, and he ain't get the Jose Ramirez fight. Good, he ain't trying to fight nobody, and he don't he don't deserve to fight nobody. Need this scary ass ran for Regis Progress all them years, and they sit here and they that's why I don't be believing. Like I don't be believing what these niggas say to the public. Ran for Regis Progress all them years, then turned around and they talking about, oh no, we ain't duck Reed, but y'all, but Bob Ram gave Regis Progress a date. A whole fight day in New Orleans to, to keep to uh, keep uh, him away from Regis Pro from uh, Ramirez away from Regis Progress. Connor Ben was gonna stretch the fuck out of Jose Ramirez. And I, I ain't got nothing against him though. So, you know, really good fighter, no doubt about it. People cool as hell. Like I said, but I'm just be speaking facts. I'm just speaking facts. You know, good fighter, but Conor Ben was gonna stretch him. He ain't got no defense. All his best offense is on his size and his conditioning. That's his best attributes. Versus Conor Ben, he was gonna go to sleep. And I was willing to bet any amount of money on that. Ramirez too heavy on his front foot. He don't have no defense. He you know. That's one thing about Robert Garcia. He don't teach them niggas no defense. You know, he, he, he adequate, but he weak in the defensive department. But he was going to get stretched. Now, as far as Conor being and Keith Thurman, like, oh, man, I'm probably going to favor Keith Thurman because of the experience. But if, Con if Conor being, you know, even Conor being getting knocked out or Keith Thurman getting knocked out, that, that's where I stand on that at. Somebody going to sleep. Somebody, somebody going to bed. That, that's pretty much what's going to happen in that fight. You know, I favor keep Thurman just because of the movement and the experience and all that type of stuff. And that's why I would favor him. But if he, but if he, but if he get caught to that body, Conor Ben going to finish him off to the head. I'll tell you that right now. Keep Thurman, keep Thurman. He showed some grip versus Pacquiao, but that's an old, that's an old line. That's an old line. This is this a young line. That motherfucker ain't gonna make no uh, unofficial agreement with you. He ain't gonna agree to agree, you know, not to go too hard. He don't know, but either he gonna get slept 
when you going to sleep. And that risk was too great. And Keith Thurman traveling over there and all that. And of course, they, of course they didn't make no counter offer. I bet you that if they did, Conor Ben ain't gonna speak on that or he don't know about it. You know, and Al, Al Heyman want power, bro. He don't want them to get a taste of another promotional company and go somewhere else and, 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 and you know, whatever. He don't want them to do that. He don't want them to do that. He want them to see, he wanted to have all the control and he fucking their career up. That's what's going on. Come on. Jesus. He messing their whole career up. They could be out here getting real money, bro. Being active, using other fight days, but especially with Fox. I think Joey Spencer come back on Fox. Hey, Fox ain't got no dates. PBC putting all the money up for Fox. Fox is getting the cut. PBC playing the production, which is they, they cameraman. They paying for the main event, the undercard. So, see, that's what it is. Al Hammond just really stuck with a lot of Fox days. You know? And Al Hammond can't get mad at Keith Thurman for turning shit down, asking for a lot of money if it's Keith Thurman. Because you set that precedent when you when you paid him a lot of money to fight Leonard Bundu and guys like that because the Birdos and the Victor Ortizes and the Mayweathers and and, and and all them didn't want to fight him. Instead of you know using your power and making them fight him. Adrian Broner and all them. Instead of using your power and make, and make them and make them fight him. You ain't do that. But that is what it is, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video. And then you want to support the channel. Cash app. Dollar sign CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Check out the box news about to the playlist. Financially, if you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign CJ Good 313. Memo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Yeah, my link tree is Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, the whole nine. Appreciate the love, support, peace.